Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, Ordinary Guy, and uh, we're going to do some piston to valve clearance on the stroker motor for the S10, so hang tight. Okay, piston to valve clearance. So now that my last video on this stroker build, I degreed the cam. Now, the cam in the straight up position, which is just the dot to dot, you know, on the two cam, cam gear and crank gear, dot to dot, factory setting, straight up position, was at 103 degrees uh, intake center line. According to Comp Cam's cam card, um, <clears throat> they want 106. So I ended up. I found that if I retarded at four degrees, I ended up at 105.5, which is really close to what they want. Perfect. So I went ahead and checked the piston to valve clearance and I came up with 87 thousandths clearance between the exhaust valve and the piston. So they recommend different cam manufacturers, different cylinder head, piston manufacturers, whatever. A general rule is a hundred thousandths on the exhaust valve and 80 thousandths on the intake valve. So, but that's for a hydraulic cam, hydraulic lifter cam, street engine kind of thing. When you get into a race engine like this, I have tighter tolerances. I have a solid lifter roller in here so it doesn't fluctuate at high RPM like it would with uh, uh, with hydraulic. Um, I have uh, 7 16 rocker studs, I have heavy duty springs, I have stud girdle so that the valve train would be real stable so when I'm up at RPM it's, it's not going to fluctuate that much. So I should be good but I'm an overthinker and I'm a little bit of a worrier because this is the third engine I've put together for this, in, this truck in just a few years and I got a lot of money in this one and I don't want to mess it up. So I'd rather err on the side of caution. So, if I went back, I went back and retarded the cam back to the straight up position, which got me at the 103 degrees. So, by retarding it, I will lose clearance on my intake valve, but I will gain clearance on the exhaust valve. And the exhaust valve is really the one you gotta worry about. So, um, so what I did is the clay method, and I'm doing that again. So what I've done here is I've taken, uh, let's see if we can see that here, there. I've taken, um, go over a little bit, taken some of the modeling clay, just kind of worked it in my fingers for a while, cleaned the piston off with some uh, brake cleaner, just real lightly, just so there's no oils on it. And I put a couple little uh, little bits of clay into the eyebrows. Now. What I'll do now is I'll take a head gasket. Now what I'm using is a, this is a Felpro 103, uh, 1003. It is a, uh, has a 42 thousandths compressed thickness. I'm gonna put that on there. This is an old one and I know that it's, when it says 42, I know it's 42 because I, when I mic'd it and that's what they say. The gasket I'm actually going to use when I put it together for real is going to be this Cometic uh, multi-layer stainless MLS gasket that's 27 thousandths. So I'll have to calculate the difference. There's a 15 thousandths difference between those two head gaskets, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So there's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the piston, or the some silicone paper towel and I'm going to wipe down the combustion chamber on the cylinder head.
there. Come on, where are you? All right, so I got the cylinder head on. I'm going to throw in a, I already have the one set of lifters in just for this first one. Throw in a couple of push rods like that. Rocker arms. So, all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the engine over and get the valve set or the rocker arm set at zero lash valve, rocker arms, whatever. All right, I'll just do it by hand, just finger tight. Okay. Now we'll spin it through its motion here. Now supposedly right here at split overlap is where you're supposed to have your valves are closest to the piston. That's when both of them are open slightly. So but I'm not using that method where you would really concern with that too much method I'm using is just the clay method. Bring them both up. Compression stroke right there. All right, take them back to get back apart. up here. There we go. Got way more mess on my bench than I'd like, but it is what it is. Let me move this up to the top where we can see it. So what 
we're looking for so what I'll do here start off with the intake I'm gonna cut this with a razor blade right in the middle Okay, and we see I, we got our section right there. Now, I'll measure this. Zero out my caliper. One, two, oh, let me get it in the right spot. One, two, what was that? Try that again. One, two, three. All right, so. Put this page over. So we're gonna be point one, two, three. Now the difference between the Felpro and the MLS is 15 thousandths. So I could take 15 thousandths out of here. That'll make a, that'll make a one. So that'll be a one, zero, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yep, eight. 108. Then I'm gonna add in the valve lash. I'm gonna add in, according to the cam card, the valve lash is 26 thousandths on the intake, 28 thousandths on the exhaust. So cold lash would be 20 thousandths, six thousandths difference on the intake. That's a hot lash setting. So I'm going to add 20 thousandths. So we get one. 128 right there on the intake plenty of room so pull that out next one is going to be the exhaust and this is the one that's been concerning to me go right through where the middle of the valve lands cut it pop that piece of clay out of there it should come out there we go Draw out my, my, my calipers again. Get into the fattest part or the skinniest part. Okay, 1.08 or 1.108. So, 0 0.108 minus 15 thousandths for the difference in the head gasket, which will make three, 93 thousandths, right? 93 thousandths. Now I'm gonna add 22 thousandths because 28 thousandths valve lash on the exhaust minus 6,000 because we're, we're looking at cold lash right now. So add 22 thousandths. 5, 9, 10, 11. Where does that go? There we go. 115. All right, so 115 thousandths on the exhaust valve is well within the 100 thousandths minimum that they're recommending for a street engine. And the 128 thousand that I have for the intake valve is plenty because they're only recommending 80,000 on that. I'm happy with that. You know, I'm, I, I don't want to run this so close that if I have a, some kind of issue, minor issue, that it ends up costing me uh, a valve into a piston. You know, even if it doesn't destroy the piston, destroy the engine and destroy everything else, just having to pull it apart and put a new valve in, 
I, I don't want to do that. I want to put this engine in here and call it good. Um, well, I mean, I know it's a race car, so as, as good as I can. <laughs> so anyways, now by advancing the cam, what I've done is I've lowered from what I've read, I've, I've brought my peak power down a couple hundred RPM. Now, um, the cam that is in here is makes power from 4,200 to 7,200. That's what it's advertised as. So I really don't want to run this engine up to 7,500 RPM. I, I can, but I'd rather keep it around 7,000 RPM. And, you know, maybe hit, maybe shift at 7,000, which actually means, you know, or have my shift light come on at 7,000, which It'd probably be 71, 7,200 by, by the time I actually, you know, made the connection and, and shifted. And, and I'm okay with that. It puts my power in there. You know, you're supposed to run past your peak power by a couple hundred RPM when you're racing anyways. So I'm happy with that. I'm, you know, now full disclosure, I've had this cam in the engine. I've had it out of the engine. I've had... I've advanced it, I've retarded it, I've moved this cam all over the place. I've checked, I checked the, the center line, the, the uh, intake center line, probably 10 times, maybe 15 times at the different things. I did piston to valve clearance with that clay half a dozen times at least. So, um, and I don't feel bad about that. If you're gonna be in a hurry, to do this you're gonna have problems probably what's what happened with my last two engines in here I, I didn't go through all these extra steps here to make sure double check triple check quadruple check whatever six tuplet I think those are babies but anyways checking over and over and over again so that way I'm confident with my numbers that I know that I'm, I'm in good shape so my next step is gonna be starting to bolt the rest of it together um, and uh, yeah, and we'll be uh, off to the races, as they say. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like all of those good things. Um, thank you to the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. So everybody stay safe, and I'll see you next time.